everyone it's Ali and welcome to day number 16 in the December Ember collaboration and today's prompts are packaging stroke index card booklet okay so I've got some index cards and I've also got a piece of Tim Holtz it was just a stencil that I bought that I'm going to use as my packaging I'm going to fold my index cards in half to make the little booklet let's just get my bone folder I'm not sure how many to put oh let's just I'm going to do some spraying. Let's just move that for a minute because I don't want black all over my index cards. Um, I think I'll probably put about six in. I think it'll be too thick for much more than that because they're quite thick, these index cards. I like these because they're like a cream colour. More often than not, index cards are white, aren't they? So I like this creamy colour. Uh, I think six, we'll put six pages in which will be 24 sides in a little notebook won't it, that'll be enough I think put them away, I just grabbed a handful right so I'm going to put my little booklet together like so we got them all the right way and then I'm just going to use my packaging as the booklet I'm just going to fold it over I never throw away this Tim Holtz packaging because it's so nice to work on. And I'm going to put my booklet in. Oh, look at that perfect fit. And I'm just going to put it down. Let's just see where we want to put. I'm just going to use my scissors. I'm not going to get my trimmer out. I'm just going to put up there. Okay. What a pity I can't cut a straight line. <laughs> right there we go so i'm not going to keep that little bit of packaging i'm going to get rid of that okay now the outside's fine to embellish there's a little bit of writing there the inside we've got this writing in which to be honest doesn't really bother me if i'm honest but i'm going to put a bit of some sprays over there just to cover up some of it so i'm just going to use my spray box i've got Vintage Photo Distress Spray Stain. It's another half a mouthful of that. I'm just going to spray that. I'm going to dry off this colour first, guys, and then I don't make mud. So I'm just going to... You'll still be able to see the writing, which doesn't bother me in the slightest, but we'll have a bit of colour on there as well. Okay, so that's dry. And then I'm going to come in with the Distress Oxide in Rustic Wilderness. I'm just going to give it a shake. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my stencil. I'm going to spray through my stencil. And there we go with green fingers for the next few days. Oh, we'll have to get some gloves. Definitely have to invest in some gloves. Okay, I'm just going to take off my stencil. Yeah, you can see that. I'm just going to put that in there. And then I use this um, kitchen roll for crafting with you know when it's all linked up I save it so I'm going to keep hold of that I've got no room to put anything right I'm just going to give my fingers just a little wipe before it dries properly just otherwise I've got a big green finger for the rest of the day well for the rest of the next couple of days it takes ages to get off your off your skin this these sprays do right I'm just going to dry off Okay, so we're dry. Right, we don't need that. We don't need that anymore, I don't think. I just want a piece of paper to stamp on. I'll just use a piece of this to stamp on. I've got just my script stamp and I'm just going to cover it with some stamping as well as the stenciling. Uh, what should we have? Let's have this one. I'm just going to put my stamp in and just stamp in the background as well. Like I said, we can still see the Tim Holtz packaging, the writing. That doesn't bother me at all. It is going into a junk journal. So, right, so that's that stamp. And then I've got some more just like little texture background stamps here. This was something I bought off um, Amazon. It's only a cheap stamp set. I'm just going to get a little block. I'm going to have that one there. And I'm going to stamp it with some black memento ink. Let's just put it on straight. I'm going to 
again I'm just going to stamp onto my background let's see what that black ink's like I'm just going to swap inks I'm going to go to my VersaFine because it gives a crisper image and then I can just dry over it in a minute get a much better image with the VersaFine well I think so anyway and I'm just going to carry on stamping so as you can see it's just mingling in with the text in the background uh, which other one should we have let's have this little one these are great little stamp sets just for fillers you know just for filling in gaps on you when you're stamping yeah and now it just looks like that writing's meant to be there doesn't it just mingles in let's just cover that bit at the top and then i think we'll have one more stamp and let's have this one here yep now I might stamp this side as well I don't know whether you'll see it oh you will see some of it just so that I am going to collage on the front of here but I'm going to put some stamping on just to to add something to it let me just wipe that ink off there that's better okay and I'm going to put my stamp in just round the edges so that when I put the collage on there's something around the edge uh, which other one should we use I think I'll go with this one this big one Yeah, don't throw this packaging away if you get stencils, keep it because it's great for backing ephemera with and making ephemera with. I've used it all the time when I buy stencils. Right, just to dry off that versa fine, I'm just going to put on my heat gun for a second because it takes a little bit to dry. So that's dry, so I've got my booklet and I'm going to bind it. Oh, sorry, we're the wrong way around. I want that on the inside. I'm going to bind it like I would with a little journal. So I'm just going to put some holes in. Let's just get a little clip. And I'm just going to poke some holes in. I'm just getting my pokey tool. Just, I'm just going to do a three hole pamphlet stitch. Okay, right, let's get some thread. Uh, needle and thread. There's my needles. And we want some brown thread. Uh, where's my brown? Here we go. I've got it. Okay, so I'm just going to put some wax. This is just wax linen thread that I'm using for binding with and a needle. Okay, so I'm going to leave a bit at the end. You've seen me do this hundreds of times. So I'm going to go down the middle. In fact, I want it on the outside, so I'm going to go start from the outside. So I'm going to go through the middle, leave a bit hanging, and then I'm going to go through that one at the top. Up to the other end, through the top. I've got a bit of black ink on my fingers and it's going on the index cards. Never mind, it doesn't matter. Come on, through that side. And then down the middle. And it's as easy as that. And then when you get to the other side, you want to make sure that you've got, just pull it, make sure your threads are tight. Oh, I've pulled that one through too much. And then I'm just going to tie a little knot at the back. And then I'm just going to cut off with that little bit. Right, let's put them needles away. Okay, so that's my little booklet. Bound. Which way around are we? That way, let's just... 
all the papers down and then they'll, it'll be flat. Right, I'm just going to round my corners. Uh, which one do we want? That one, number 10. back ones as well uh, where are we that one and then I'm just going to do a little bit of embellishing on the front right I'm going to do a bit of collage first so let's just get some bits and pieces out my collage box right I've got this as well you know when I like cover saying to you I keep the kitchen roll that I use as a mop up and I'm wondering whether to put a bit of that on there underneath my paper just for some more texture let's get rid of the bottom layer well there's two layers yeah I think I'm going to put a little piece of this on the front of it underneath my paper if I can get it to stick right, let's just open that page like that for a minute I'm going to keep that yeah when you're mopping up with your kitchen towels dry them out they're great for collaging with uh, where's my brown ink let's just get my ink let's just ink over it a little bit just as another texture in the background I'm going to glue that down I'm only going to put a bit on because I'm going to stick something on top of it so it's just to stick that first layer down like that and then we've just got some texture on the front of the notebook right we want some papers to collage with uh, what should we have we'll have some of this ledger we'll have some of this gothic we'll have some of this book page um, and I think a little piece of this right let's just ink up these pieces how are we doing guys are we all okay are we all sorted for Christmas now we are I think I've said this in my last video yeah we are sorted now we've got everything it's just fresh food that we need to go out and get yeah it takes some organising doesn't it Christmas it really does it just seems to have come around so quickly from it doesn't seem like long ago since we was crafting summer projects and now we're done christmas going in christmas sorry going into winter yeah it's um the year has absolutely flown by hasn't it this year it really has i'm going to put that down first this little piece I do like to use different fonts and that in my collage and then this one Put there. and then I want something to stick on the front as my focal image uh, let's have a look in my fussy cut see what we've got here I was thinking a butterfly to be honest I think that big butterfly might look nice on there Oh, we've got a brown one. No, I think that orange one looks nice, actually. What else have we got? I don't want a mushroom. I'm using mushrooms all the time. <laughs> there, we've got a squirrel. Mm, squirrel looks quite nice as well, doesn't it? I don't know whether I want the butterfly. Yeah, I'm going to have the butterfly. I haven't used any butterflies in the journal, I don't think. And I'm sure in an enchanted forest you'd find butterflies, lovely butterflies, wouldn't you? <laughs> so we'll go with this. Right, do I want to stick it right down? Yeah, I think I do. I couldn't decide whether to just stick the middle down, but I'm going to stick it all down like that. I'm going to go over it with my sparkly pen. Right, let's just grab my pen. What did you do with that? Sorry for reaching over, guys going to go over the wings in my butterfly I'm 
I think we'll have just a little word or quote. Oh, my desk is just a mountain of stuff everywhere, honestly. I'm working on an Alice in Wonderland journal off camera, so I've got all that on my desk as well, as well as all this Defemer Ember stuff everywhere. Should we just have botanical? No, that doesn't go, I don't think. Um, these are sort of foresty words, not into the woods. Yeah, let's have that one. with that it's okay isn't it and I've got a little for some more packaging I've been saving you know just if, uh, oh, what, tags off presents and clothes and that that I've bought I'm going to put a little bit of paper on a piece on here uh, let's just grab some background paper uh, which one should we use I think we'll have this one Sorry guys, I'm just reaching at the side of me. I'm going to cover it with this. Just put that back up there. I just thought for some extra packaging. We'll just put some glue on here. Stick that on there. Fold it over. No, we won't. We'll stick it on. We'll put it there and then we'll stick some on the front. Like that and then a little bit on here. Let's just put some more glue on there. It's not sticking. Yeah, I've saved all the little tags off everything that I've bought that I've wrapped. my corners it doesn't want to stick this piece yeah I'm just going to round my corners again come on oh it's on it's one of its silly days sometimes it works absolutely great this thing and then other times it just never wants to work say it's worked that time Daft thing. and it's worked that time <laughs> stick a bit more glue on that right there we go I've rounded the corners let's just ink it up a little bit and then I'm just going to put a little hole in I'm going to put a little eyelet in. Uh, where have you put your eyelets, Alison? Here they are. Uh, we'll have gold, I think. Let's put that eyelet in. Set my eyelet. And then I've got a little bulb pin. I just thought of something extra. We could pin this, maybe, should we put it on the spine, do I want it on there? We could pin it inside, couldn't we, just like that. I don't think I want to cover up the front, unless I put it put it through the bind, the knot on here. Do I want it on there? No, I'm going to put it inside. I'm just going to put something on the front of it, just a little embellishment if I've got something small enough. Um, oh, guess what? A mushroom. <laughs> um, I haven't used very many of these fussy cuts up to now, to be honest, have I? Right, we'll have that mushroom on there. And well, the butterfly will be too big, I think. Yeah, what about the dragonfly? Let's have that one. Right, let's just ink around here. I just thought it's just a little tag, just an extra little piece of ephemera. 
and just ink around this dragonfly. Right, put them on. It might come over the edge this, but that's fine. We can we can leave it like that and then let's stick the mushroom on. Okay, so we've just stuck them little pieces of ephemera on and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to punch a hole in this first page. I'm not going to put an eyelet in or anything, I'm just going to punch a little hole. Oh, wrong way around. And then I'm just going to put this on, just then it's something when you open the booklet. You've got something there. And I think I'm done. I think that's me done for today's prompt. Let's just move this stuff, put the lid on my ink. Yeah, all done for another day. We're getting there, guys. Not long to go now, is there? Let's just have a look. What was we on? Um, day 16 for me. I am working a day behind. And it was packaging an index card booklet. So that was my packaging, the Tim Holtz, and then we've made the little booklet with the index card. I'll zoom in a little bit. Yeah, it needs to stay flat. I might put a little paper clip in there or something. And then my little tag in the inside. So there we go then, guys. That's me done for today. So as always, thank you so much for stopping by. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow with my next video. Bye for now.